A Marine from MCAS Miramar is now charged with vehicular manslaughter. Good evening, I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Jesse Pagan in for Carlo tonight. John Branda is accused of leading police on a chase in a stolen military truck that ended in a crash and killed a passenger. CBS 8's Brian White shows us what happened inside a Vista courtroom today. 21-year-old John Eugene Brand was arraigned in court today just days after he led police on that fatal chase. He's facing multiple felonies, including evading an officer causing death, vehicular manslaughter, and even kidnapping. He enters not guilty pleas and denials. Brand pleading not guilty as he stood before the judge, visible bruises over his right eye, bearing fidgety at times, shaking his head in disagreement with the charges against him. It's alleged that he committed a, uh, essentially a kidnapping of a member of our community by refusing to let her and her colleague out of the vehicle as he drove that vehicle at very high rates of speed on our roads. It all started Monday when, according to the DA's office, Brand stole a military pickup truck from MCAS Miramar and drove with two women to a Dick's Sporting Goods in Escondido. Police say they stole merchandise from the store, and when officers arrived, the trio took off and a pursuit ensued. The two female passengers begged the defendant to stop. He refused, saying that he was not going to go to jail. He uh, drove in excess of 90 miles per hour. Um, ran through red lights, um, drove on the opposite side of the road, and collided into a pole. The two women were thrown from the vehicle. Brand got out and ran off. Police found him hiding a block away where they arrested him. One of the women, 18-year-old Shivandia Compare Bell, died at the hospital, while the other, Tiara Elizabeth Sams, suffered major injuries but survived. Shivandia's family was in court, understandably emotional. They're devastated. Um, they're emotional. Um, obviously, they're not in the right train of thought or mind to even provide much of a statement at this time. According to a spokesperson at Miramar, Brand is from Kansas and joined the Marine Corps a little more than two years ago. Last month, he was allegedly involved in an attempted carjacking with a knife in the South Bay. He was out on bail and under court order to remain on base at the time of Monday's incident. He is a clear present danger to the public, and there are no conditions or any combination of conditions that will ensure the public safety or ensure that the defendant returned to court. The judge denied bail. Brand is facing 18 years and six months in prison if convicted on all charges in this case. He'll be back in court in February. At the Vista Courthouse, Brian White, CBS 8.